So I thought we'd take a little cruise here through the snow biome today. We are learning the map, unlocking er new areas of the map here. So we're way up here in the north uh, east corner of the map and not finding too much. That's crazy interesting. Uh, I found a couple of snow owls, nothing really high level. Um, but we're going to keep looking. I think, I don't know, there are so many of these megatheriums on this map that maybe... It might be a good idea to try taming one of these things. I don't know if we can find a high enough level. That one's obviously not going to do it. Um, what else is over here? We got level 15. Yeah, just some Ankies, level 100. The Anki that we have is kind of crappy, actually. I really should breed them up here. Oh, man. Calicotherium just got murdered. Okay, what else is going on? Plenty of wolves. I don't know if I want wolves today, but we're going to keep looking up through these mountains. Very pretty area. I do like the kind of bubbled uh, biomes here on the extinction map. That is pretty neat. But we've got some exploring to do, and hopefully it would be nice if we stumbled across a really nice snow owl. That would be great. There's some more Castroides dams. There are a lot of Castroides on this map, which is pretty cool. Um, love to use those for getting cementing paste and whatnot. What about you, buddy? Level 55. You're not that great, are you? What else is going on up here today? Let's head up uh, this way and uh, see if there's anything cool up there. Wow, I think I found an actual Giga. It's pretty mad, whatever it is. Whoa, where'd it go? What's happening? <laughs> there's, rock, there's mountains and then there's no mountains. Okay, cool. So we got a Giga over here, a real live Giga. Uh, only a level 20 with a whole party of... Uh, Rex is over here, level 15, 40, and there's another one over there. i got to watch at a 5. Ugh, not too much going on over here. What's dead up this way? Is that a dead Giga or a dead Rex? I think it's a dead Rex. It'd be weird. Oh, we got another Giga. Giga. I didn't find any worthy snow owls. I'm assuming this is just a dead Rex over here, right? Yeah, I was hoping... Hoping it might be a dead Giga for some reason. I could get a Giga heart if I even need one. Oh, a level 30. Hmm. Well, these guys are... Whoa, Argentavis is toast. Hey, buddy. Uh, so I guess if I need to tame some Gigas, we got a couple of low-level ones here. I'm wondering how I can get rid of them in my current state, which I don't really think I can. So anyway, we are continuing on here. We're way over on the east portion of the map. I guess this would be the border right up here. Is that a snow owl? That's just an Argentavis, right? Yeah, just a shiny one. But, you know, how far can we get over here? This is kind of a cool spot. We got some elk, just tons of uh, Ankies around, plenty of those guys. I uh, really should uh, maybe tame one of those one of these days, but I'm just checking things out. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool up here, but yeah, nothing nothing overly exciting, though. Pretty interesting area. So let's continue our adventure. Whoa, first time I've seen one of these. I do believe this is a... What the hell is that? Is that an Alpha Corrupted Tech Rex? <laughs> what, what is that thing? Oh, it's an Enraged Corrupted Rex. Okay. And we've got a Spino to boot, so I don't think this is probably going to turn out too well. I should probably... Oh, hey, look at this. Get the Explorer Note thing here. There we go. Let's get that out of here. And then that's good. So that'll help us out. Let's get rid of this regular old Corrupted Spino. So that's good. Stay goes out. And then this spino should go down pretty easy. So I'm trying to get some good stuff from these guys as far as like black pearls and that sort of thing. So let's gobble up some food here while I got a boost. Oh, we got a point here. I think I'm going to pop it into health real quick. Anyway, I think, yeah, I want to get some more stuff. So we're getting some cool stuff out of these higher level corrupted things um, like the spinos and whatever. We're getting some leech blood. We're getting regular organic polymer. Of course, we're getting uh, corrupted nodules. And I've been getting a few um, black pearls. So we just got one there. And I don't want to spend my whole boost here doing that. So let's get rid of our prime meat and drop that stuff. 
what is cruising around down below here? Okay, just uh, Paraceratheriums. Oh, I don't want to enrage or get all these rock drakes and stuff going. Hopefully they ignore me. I don't know what they're doing. But let's see if we can take this guy out. See how just how difficult this is. So hopefully his vulture gets in, in there. He is. Our vulture friend is doing 110 damage. And this thing is doing... What is he doing? 50 damage to us or something like that? Somebody was doing something. Let's eat this gas bag there. Gas bag be gone. There we go. Got a little meat. Get a little healing boost going on here. Let's see if we can defeat this thing. I'm not sure if we can or not. I have no idea how tough these things are. I have not fought one yet. And I don't know if they give any kind of boosts to anything. Like these rock drakes. Ooh, the rock drake just took doing a hundred some damage to me. That is not cool. 164 damage. I think it's doing I think that's what's doing the damage. I'm not flying anymore. Okay, we killed the corrupted rex. That's great. Did it leave a bag behind? I didn't even see if we got anything out of it. Why am I after this stego? I want to get rid of this rock drake. Go away, Rock Drake. So hopefully this guy goes down pretty quick. I think we'll be all right. Okay, stay go down. Rock Drake, go away. I think we're almost there. So it's doing 82 damage. Must have been getting a boost from the from the enraged, corrupted T-Rex. It's just a fight to the death here. Okay, we, this is really doing a lot of damage to us. Okay, it was a level 160. Okay, so I don't know if we got anything out of it. Let's definitely going to need to do some healing up here. Let's check our inventories to see if we got anything interesting. Okay, so we got Alpha T-Rex Tooth. Anything else? I don't think we got anything. No. I mean, we didn't get anything, anything interesting at all. That blows. Just a... T-Rex Tooth, did my little guy get a boost? Yep, my uh, Chibi got a boost. Not that it really matters at this point, but okay. Well, that was disappointing, but we got ourselves, uh, whoa. You know, I haven't taken out one of these uh, one of these guys yet, but at about a quarter health, I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> I have not taken out a Wyvern yet, but I think I probably could um, if I had full health, which I do not. Okay, so we'll move right along here. See, let's see what we get. I should have enough. I should have enough power here to kill this guy. Enough health, rather. Whoa, that guy's toast. So it just got us some T-Rex arms. Got rid of that guy. Okay. So it didn't leave a bag or anything behind either. So okay. Well, let's heal up. Well, while exploring the map, I figured I might as well stop and pick up my guys that I. Uh, tamed up a little while ago they're not really great levels here but you know they'll do what needs to be done let's just check whoa where'd my guy go i think he's overburdened here uh let's see if he got anything interesting out of any of this stuff i thought maybe he picked up some of the black pearls or whatever but it doesn't look like it let's just uh grab one of those and then let's drop all this meat here I think, yeah, his weight is a problem. Your weight is an issue, buddy. There you go. Oh, I can't put it in there for some reason. I forgot about that. Um, where'd you go? Oh, you're following Bert. Okay. Let's unfollow you. There we go, Rondor. And let's get you guys in cryopods. Do you have anything interesting on you? One piece of pelt. Okay. I guess I'll take that for some reason. And you got nine of those. That's fine. All right. So let's get you in a cryopod, level 67 female. I guess this might help add to our kibble farm uh, business here. Um, and then if we find something better to tame, we'll just take these guys out of the cryopod and uh, replace them with whatever we actually need. So let's grab Rondor back over here, buddy. There you are. And then... Let's head back up into the sky. So probably should head back with all this stuff that I've gotten. We've gotten ourselves, well, a little bit more than halfway around the map all together. So I think that's pretty good. Let's head back and drop off this stuff and continue uh, checking out the map. So we're back at base, and I got most of my stuff kind of figured out here, but I want to make an industrial cooker here. So it's not a cooker, but a grill, because... I've got a ton of stuff, um, so I'm just going to have to get the uh, pull resources from other stuff here, no big deal. 
And these aren't ridiculously expensive, so I'm pretty excited about this. Now, where do I want to put it is the question. So I think I'm just going to set it, I think I'm going to set it right here. There, looking pretty good. Okay, so I think now I can pull, uh, let's see, can I pull? Or do I need to something in here first? Come on, there we go. So we got tons of raw prime meat. Got to wait a second here. There we go. Uh, let's grab it from the vulture from the first part here. And uh, yeah, now we are cooking, which is good because I'm hungry. So I'll eat over here. So from yesterday's episode, um, we got the crop plots here started. And uh, I got these guys are growing. You can see they're growing faster than these because these guys don't have uh, the greenhouse effect going on over here. So we have 300% greenhouse effect. And what do we got for veggies and stuff? So we got like 30 long grass uh, things right here. We're going to, of course, finish this off. We're not going to just leave it like this. So thanks to the miracle of building in Ark, I did, there's this goofy little lip here, which I didn't notice when I put this down here. So if I try to get through these doors, I can't um, if there's a foundation there. So it looks ridiculous, but... Um, I might, just because it does look so ridiculous, I might actually put the wall here and change things up. But I'm not going to do it right at this moment. Got These guys are out now. Um, don't remember if I showed you that I brought our two trikes up here. So that's cool. Um, we still have our wild guys have not despawned here. I think well, at least we got one. There's two. I thought I had three in here at one point. There's our dung beetle. So... Uh, two, maybe there's a third snail around here somewhere, but our guy has picked up now 343 um, cementing paste from these wild guys here, which is pretty nice uh, S plus feature. And we're finally starting to pick up some eggs too. So we're getting ready for our kibble farm business. So things are going pretty good. We got a lot of resources. We got, I'm going to have to fire, grab this guy again here. And pull some more meat. Let's grab raw meat. Man, everybody's got raw meat here. Let's grab the stuff out of the Argentavis. And this makes life so much easier. And let's finish off Rondor here. And then as much as we can over there. So we can transfer this stuff into our uh, preserving bin, which is just hiding back here. And put that stuff in there. So we'll put a couple of stacks in there, and then, then we can put the rest of it into our refrigerator for whatever we need. So that's pretty cool. This is also going to be pretty handy um, whenever we go find a sheep. We did find some up in the mountains, so that was pretty cool. So we'll bring those back and uh, cook those guys up and get some cooked mutton. We've got tons of stuff going on in here. We collected a bunch of metal, so things are... Um, Moving along quite well here at the base. So, so I've been killing a couple of corrupted T-Rexes. We got a handful of black pearls. Now we found one of these uh, enraged guys over here. At least I assume it's an enraged guy. And uh, yeah, enraged corrupted T-Rex. So Alpha Rex type thing. Okay, so our gig is down. So we got some corrupted hearts and stuff out of that thing. Let's see. So the last time we did this, it was uh, painful, but not too painful. We got more pain from the uh, rock drake that was around. So we're doing pretty good this time. Hard to tell exactly if this thing is bloody or not, but our vulture is getting in there. We're getting in there. We're going to take this thing out. I'm pretty sure it won't be an issue. I think I see it blood on its metal body. So let's, yep, we got it. Uh, we got two black pearls from that guy and some angler gel. So, and we got a level. So I think that's going to go into, I think we'll do one more into health there. So we're getting a few black pearls, but we're going to need a ton of them. So this isn't a real quick way to get black pearls. I think what we're going to have to do, it's probably not going to be this episode, maybe the next one is we're going to have to, We'll go looking for some gatches and uh, and breed those suckers and hopefully get something that drops black pearls and some other good stuff too because, yeah, I don't really want to run around the map here trying to find black pearls all the time from these guys. Although it is a little fun and it is a, probably a really good way to uh, level stuff up here. So making our way around the map here, almost walking into our little furry arm. But, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. We're uh, We're doing well today. 
So if you're looking for spinos, this is definitely the place to go. I don't know. I must have killed 10 of them so far between the corrupted and the regulars. So there's three of them up ahead here. But if you are curious, we are here at 78.7 degrees latitude and 42.1 degrees longitude. And I don't seem to be doing too good getting any stuff out of them anymore. They seem to not be dropping the uh, spino sails and stuff like that. See, they didn't drop it that time. Let's see about this guy. Nope, nothing there. And let's get this guy out of here. Come on. Oh, he's running. Well, fine. You're a wimp. So I was just over there. I think I was just over here. Yeah, and there's more spawned in here. Yeah, there's two more corrupteds. Another one over there. And there he is. He's dead now. Okay. So, yeah, if you're looking for taming spinos or getting sales or whatever, this is a... Apparently, uh, a great place to go ahead and do that here on this map. Oh man, this is a, this is not cool. What is going on over here with all these pteranodons now? Get rid of this spino. But this also got to be great for leveling up, man. If your guy can handle it, get out of here. Level five. I haven't seen anything good level any good level spinos. That's for sure. But there's a ton of them. Go away, dude. This guy must be better. Yeah, level forty. Woo. Okay, what's this guy over here? And he's level 45. Not too bad. So anyway, yeah, we're going to keep looking. So we're unlocking almost the whole map now. So we've got just this last little bit way over here on the western edge of the map that we um, have to uh, fly over and unlock. And so we're doing pretty good. We made several trips back and forth with different resources like Black Pearls and whatnot from taken out some of these higher level corrupted creatures but one thing i have to say about extinction as we're sort of getting to the i don't know i guess the uh, end of the kind of the base exploration where we're you know we haven't explored all the little nooks and crannies there's caves and you know other cool things and you know that we're missing and whatnot but this map is bleak the lighting is just kind of bad i'm sorry to say and also the the colors there's just nothing i mean there's no green really there's i mean there's a couple of green areas within sort of that city area but i mean for the most part this is just bleak and i know that's kind of the point of the map but it also I th i'm thinking it's affecting my mood and just how i feel playing this game i mean it's just like uh, i just don't know what to do with myself sometimes so we're gonna add uh one into melee here and let's drop all this prime meat so there we go so that was what 223 raw prime meat geez we're collecting a ton of that but anyway so let's keep moving on here but yeah the, it's really starting to affect the way i kind of am playing the game i just feel like uh, all hope is lost <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if if you guys have played this map, please let me know. Scorched Earth is, I don't know. It's it's also bleak in its own way, but it's also like okay, well, this is what a desert looks like, you know. And this is just like death and destruction, and like the the lighting never really changes. There's like no real difference in times of day and stuff out here for the most part. Um, and it's just, uh, I guess the. Uh, nicest looking area in the whole map is that uh, mountainous area where we started out the episode so i don't i don't know it's it's just kind of weird i just kind of want to hurry up and be done with this map to be quite honest and yeah i'd really like to know if anybody else is is sort of feeling that way i suppose it's sort of coming across in my gameplay as well and how i'm handling things but and uh, also my uh, publication schedule. But, yeah, I guess I just had to – I'm not trying to – I'm not ranting about it, but it is just something that is affecting me. Anyway, so we're going to – we should be just about done here. Yeah, just a little bit left here to explore. I know we've – speaking of exploring, we've got a lot more explorer notes, I think, that are on this map that I've sort of uh, missed because I'm kind of doing just a fast high flyover of this whole map. But we'll, we'll be back. I think the uh, – uh, the next step today is to just finish up some things at the base. And then I think tomorrow is going to be pretty cool in that we're going to go after gotchas because I think we really need to get some of those things. Yeah. So we've kind of come over now to this, uh, volcanic -y, sulfury kind of area where, um, we last were, there's a lot going on around here. Let's see. I'm trying to find like some high level tech stegos, um, would be great. Um, so we're kind of killing these guys off for 
for the uh, resources or whatever. Um, but this, the spinos being a pain. I have not seen any good level spinos. I don't think we had anything over level like 90 or something like that. So, um, which is nice because you can, you can take them out pretty quick, but also, you know, I would like to tame, you know, a spino might be something that would be nice to tame, but if we can't find anything that's a decent level, there yeah, we got three black pearls from that one. And I don't care about you, spino or uh, stego over there. So, yeah, so I think I'm just going to collect some more resources on the way back home since we got this map pretty much, uh, pretty much uh, all unlocked here. So let's get rid of this dude. And then since I got it unlocked, I'm going to put my ghillie arms back on here, my gauntlets, because they cover up <laughs> a bunch of the map here. Okay, so let's head back to base. Oh, well, that was interesting. I just died from the heat. I had no idea there was uh yeah, I just died from the heat. So that's the old base. So that's not going to do me any good. Okay, so it should be easy to find at least. Um, I hope my guy is, um, yeah, respawn at new base. I hope my dude is on neutral or something like that so it doesn't just get munched. Seems like there's always a... Uh, a disagreement, not necessarily a disagreement, but it seems like a lot of people run with, okay, yeah, we got some sort of crazy heat event over here, so let's go ahead, um, we're going to need, oh, we can drop all these dumb skins, go, get rid of that stuff, um, why is my, okay, the heat's gone now, that's weird, okay, well, anyway, let's get a new set of ghillie armor and head over and pick up our stuff, okay, We've got a big battle going on down here. This is not good. Uh, or it might not be good. I don't know. Come on, guys. Where's my... Okay, there's my... Oh, wait, what do we got going on? Okay, there we got Vulture and whatnot coming through. So let's grab these guys. We hit an Explorer note on the way. And let's get... I don't know how it killed me, to be honest here. But we died, that's for sure. Let's get everybody here. Okay, so let's get everybody to follow me. Take this guy out. Don't know what happened to my vulture now. There he is. Hello, buddy. Let's get this guy. Is everybody looking pretty good? People are looking pretty good here. Get this dude. It's not that hard. <laughs> it's just an Argent Davis. There we go. I'm mean, going to watch my stamina. I haven't leveled this bird up since I brought it back from Scorched Earth. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. So I was headed down this way. Yeah, so th maybe this is just a really hot spot. I don't understand what's happening here, but I don't have any food either. So are you ready, guys? Let's kill this raptor. And then hopefully before I die of heat, I might have to bail out on this really quick. Get him, guys. Hoping. Oh, Rondor's. Okay, ba oh, bail. Oh, shoot. Rondor is dead. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, we got to get out of here and heal up so that I can. Yeah, so it must just be a really hot spot, and I didn't realize it, or something's happening out in the wilderness there that is going on. Not really sure, um, but I am going to need to get my stuff. Let me get. This guy leveled up to some degree here. Let's drop this prime. Uh, there we go. I don't need to carry that around. But let's get you 5,000 health, and then we'll just dump everything into melee here and see how that works. Uh, you need more than 5,000 health. Let's go 7,500. Well, I guess we can't get that high. But you're pretty darn good. So happy with that. And then you are going to unfollow... And then come back, please. There we go. All right. So I need to get my stuff. How are we doing here? So are you, you got 135. So you are, okay. So you still have the Explorer note. That's interesting. Because I lost it, obviously. That is just way too much stuff going on down there. All right, guys, let's go get it. And then we're going to need, uh, let's see, attack my target. So let's be a little bit smarter about this. Gets rid of this dude. 
I'm really sad about my my vulture. I hope it's just kill everybody. Oh my gosh, there's so many down here. We're gonna have to be careful. Okay, we're doing tons of damage. So I'm just gonna fly in this circle and try to kill everything. Okay, so I think that's all we have left is this guy. Okay. So I'll try to do the work. I think he's pretty bloody. And yeah, he's gonna go down and a second here. Get him. Yes. Oh, okay, Dill got it. All right, so let's grab our stuff. Man, that stinks about my vulture. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Here we are. Let's grab all this stuff. Grab this guy here before anything else gets us. Yeah, and we're dying from heat again. So I don't know if this is because we're in the wasteland or what. Interesting. All right, let's just pop over here. I got some food I can eat now and get a little bit of healing going on. And then let's see if it goes away, if it was just that pit, or I think it's the whole wasteland. Yeah, I think there's a big event going on in the wasteland. Okay. Well, that kind of stinks because there are a bunch of supply orbital supply drops that just landed. And I don't know if there's some connection there or what, but let's check this guy out. I don't want to just, where'd he go? There we go. What level are you? 36. Okay. Well, let's munch him and then we're going to head back to base and we got to heal up our character. And I think we're just going to go about what we were going to go about doing and then we'll come back and maybe try to get some more orbital supply drops. Okay, so we're back at base. We're still getting bombarded by different things. Pretty dangerous outside of the little city area here. So we're going to finish up our... Uh, our area here hopefully this works where we can okay so we're gonna put the stairs and hey we can enter in here so we've got our crops growing over here these guys have produced 54 vegetables and these guys who didn't have um the greenhouse until just now um only have six so massive difference almost 10 times the difference here in the amount of vegetables that they're putting out so we now have to put on the rest of this Oh, I need this one sloped roof over here. So let's get that guy on there. There we go. And then we should be able to... So everything was doing, I think, 300% greenhouse effect. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to be different once we seal everything up here. So we'll find out in a minute. I forget exactly. 300% is plenty for me, that's for sure. Let's see if we got enough. All right, cool. So that is exactly what we need. And then let's do... Okay, we do have stairs out here already. So that's great. So our greenhouse is looking pretty good. We got lights in here to light it up here because of the crappy shadows that we have. We've uh, got S+, plus, so we were able to hide the electricity. And uh, it also hid the uh, pipes over here. So let's see what we got now. So it's still saying 300%. Is that the maximum? I forget. So these guys should be at 300% as well. Yep. So everything should be growing great. So we could make this a little bit bigger. And we've definitely got a room for at least uh, two rows, two more rows of plants if we want to. I mean, you can do a third one down the middle here. But we're probably not going to need that. So if we need any more plants. So our, uh, our kibble system is uh, getting in order. Let's go see if we've picked up any eggs here with our S plus collector. We've got one Argentavis and three Raptor. Okay, so we're starting to move forward there. But we're going to need quite a lot more dinos and some other stuff to uh, boost our egg production. But all in all, a pretty successful day other than dying there for just a little bit um from the heat or whatever events going on right now so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching